Hello everybody, my name is Super Splat and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this is the final episode of the series. Granted, unless Bethesda adds another location um, to Fallout for another settlement, just kind of like they did. They added a new player home in uh, Skyrim, so I'm not going to count it out. I'm not going to count out the possibility. So here we are, the Red Rock, Nuka World Red Rocket. And it's different because I got the giant Nuka Cola bottle instead of the Red Rocket. So, the only way you get this settlement is to restore power to Nuka World. Plain and simple. Well, not so much. You gotta find all the star cores and the set and the other thing. So, if we move on in. Um, no, we'll, we'll get to the garage last. So when you walk in here, we get our, as always, we got our, um, I thought she actually closed the door. I am sadly mistaken. Um, so here we are with our, our gear loadouts. Oh, if you didn't notice in, um, my video on, uh, Visitor Center, no, not Visitor Center, Dalton Farm, my player home in Far Harbor, um, I did not bring Piper with me. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it was probably just more or less I wanted to have Old Longfellow with me. As you can tell by my ar uh, earlier videos in this series, I brought him with me, so I didn't bring Piper. Um, since she's my wifey, but um, I brought her with me to Nuka World to liberate Nuka World to get the good ending. So we destroyed all of the raiders. So. But uh, this is my loadout. It was mostly just legendary pieces that I found um, off enemies before I even did Nuka World. So I got like assassins, operators, auto stim, left bracer, stuff like that. And I got the cappy glasses from uh, Sierra Petrovita. And then I don't know, I, just because I prefer the operators. Out of all the Nuka World Raiders, I prefer the Operators, so I just picked up some stuff and gave it to Piper, excuse me, if you couldn't tell already, um, by my Nuka Cola Quantum Pit Boy skin, and that we're still wearing our Nuka Cola clothes, <laughs> uh, Piper and I, so. Alright, then we'll move back here, so my weapons of choice here were the prototype Gauss rifle from the Creation Club. I did not ever use this. Um, I don't know. I never I never bothered to get it on the Creation Club, but then I eventually did. And I figured, you know what? I'm just going to use this, and I love the Gauss rifle. It is really powerful. I loved it. Um, the handmade rifle that is new to Nuka World. Um, this is a legendary one that causes enemies to frenzy which I really still don't know what that technically means but it still did a lot of damage to enemies so um, that's all that matters to me and finally the violent western revolver it is the same thing as a 44 caliber pistol um resilient nope that's right I called it old west shoot I should have looked to see what I named all my weapons in far harbor Oh well. I named it Old West uh, because it does 25% more damage, plus 25 damage and limb damage, but it has more recoil. But look at that DPS, a 240. That is some powerful stuff. Yeah, what, did I even name the rest of these? I don't think I did. Nope. No, I don't think I did name the rest of these. Oh, I named it Taunt because Frenzy. <laughs> Whatever. And then I got my Reg... Re yes, Reg Sheets from Creation Club. Oh, you're actually sitting down, Piper. So, this TV was originally here with the settlement, so I just decided to leave it. As well as the cigarette machine and all these uh, wall paintings that are here. Um... Like here, here, that sign, and this giant piece here. I left them alone. 
because they're naturally here, so I left them. I did add a, another weapon display for Oswald's sword once you complete uh, the Kitty Kingdom. And I added his hat into a little display case. So we have that just to remember Oswald. Um, I did put down a sentry kit or a model. I think I would assume that I had it from a or I had it left over. I don't think I found it in the park. Or maybe I did. I don't know. But I left it here. As well as the uh, Nuka-Cola lunch boxes. I left one here on the counter. Close these. Oh yeah. My magazine rack of all the issues of Scav Magazine. So we'll turn so we can see them. So there's all the issues of Scav Magazine, which are, I guess they're just like Raider Magazines, or Raider, Magazines made by the Raiders in Nuke World. Finally, here we are in the garage bay. So I took, or I tried to recreate them the best I could of like all the costumes and armor from Nuka World. So like this is Mason, leader of the pack. Um, leader of the pack. Um, the pack gang in Nuka World. Cage's armor. Uh, one of the two leaders of the operators and majority of um, I was disciples gear. I would have gotten rid of these uh, shelves here, but then that would also get rid of the calendar, and I wanted to leave the calendar there. Uh, then we got the Nuka Girl uh, suit that you get in. Oh, what? Where do you get it? You get it in the Galactic Zone, but where? Oh, Nuka Galaxy. So yeah, and then you, there's the oh she oh Cedo's shiny slugger, which is an exclusive weapon that Cedo gives you. Uh, it went to complete the quest for. Wow, what is it called? <laughs> uh, Safari Adventure. Um, he gives it to you if you complete it, but I don't know like if you kill him if you get it off him too. I would assume. Either way, you get it. Um, so yeah, then let's address the elephants in the room, which are the power armor suits. So you get uh, this. So you, you get um, the Nuka Cola red, the Nuka Cola suit from the World of Refreshment. You have to. Ooh, I don't know. One of the two. I think it's from World of Refreshment. I don't think it's from the bottling plant. Um, there's a switch at the end of the dungeon. You gotta hit, and it will like unlock security gates. And one of them has this power, or this suit of power armor inside. As you make your way through the dungeon, um, it'll be on display, and you can't open it. But once you hit, get to the end, and open it, uh, you get the power armor suit. And then the Nuka Cola Quantum X01 power suit that you get from the Galactic Zone once you restored power and you put all the star cores back in uh, the Galactic Zone. This little display case will open. You get this beautiful Nuka Cola Quantum X01 power armor suit. And then finally is Overboss Coulter. It's power armor. The only legendary piece is a torso that deals energy damage to nearby enemies. And you get to meet Overboss Coulter at the beginning of the DLC once you make your way through the gauntlet. And that's all I'm going to say. So, oh, I added this door to the garage. Um... Because there is no door, just like in the Commonwealth Red Rocket, there's a door that you can put to close the garage. There is no door for that, so I just used this. And I can't remember where this is from. I think it's from Wasteland Workshop. Um, 
that there's this yeah it's from the warehouses yeah that you can put down a door like this and I just try to overlap it the best I could because I don't honestly like if we get attacked which I'm not even sure where the attack spawns are I don't really worry about it because it's a player home and I'm not here I'll not be playing this file much longer uh, but if we do get attacked, they don't have easy access to destroy or attack in to my garage. So, I mean, I know there's super mutants back here, but uh, yeah. So that's gonna do it for Nuka World Red Rocket Truck Stop, as well as this entire series of my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you missed any episodes or you want to watch the series entirely, there is the playlist. There'll be an uh, annotation at the end of this video, just like in every other video. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.